And another victim of the coronavirus is couples hoping to tie the knot and businesses that make it happen during one of the busiest times of years for time of year for the wedding season. A lot of plans have been canceled or put on hold for the time being. Eight on your sides, Marco Villarreal joins us live with more on that unfortunate story. Marco? Good afternoon, Stacy. You may not see a lot of newlyweds coming down church steps in the next little while, but love is not dead. Venues are working with couples who were forced to put off their big day. All of our events through May have canceled or postponed. Catherine Music runs the events at the Temple Terrace Country Club, but today she's been fielding phone calls with community groups, companies, and school organizations. The ballroom is now used as storage as they scale back the number of people at the club. The hardest calls to take are upset brides and their families, canceling their big day as authorities ask gatherings of people to be kept at a minimum. People are traveling less, afraid to fly and pick up or spread the deadly coronavirus. Music is understanding, consoling families, working to return deposits or move those to future dates. The hope is that this pandemic is over sooner rather than later. Her advice to brides? Contact your vendors so that at least you have first choice um, on future dates because it's as many people that are going to be affected moving dates around, it's going to get crazy once again trying to get the vendor that you originally had. And another tip here is to contact those vendors as soon as possible and then also be kind with them as they try to work with you on setting together or putting together new plans. Now, coming up on News Channel 8 at 5 30, you're going to meet this amazing couple who's got a really neat outlook after they had to cancel some of their wedding plans this weekend. Reporting live in Tampa, Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side.